Hola, hola, mis amores. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to do a pick a card reading in regards to the divine feminine and masculine. So as you can see, we have two different um, piles here having two different Halloween props. So go ahead and choose the one that you would like to get a little mini reading for your person. How you feel about them, how they feel about you, you know, how you guys feel about each other, etc. So we have the male uh, skull merman and then we have the female skull mermaid so whichever one stands out to you the most <clears throat> is your reading your message okay so all the decks that we're using are the ones that i created these four here are the ones that i created we have the lover's tarot unspoken messages volume two volume one and my newest deck the fire within all right so each pile has two cards from each deck all right, so we're going to begin with the mermaid. So if you picked this beautiful enchantress, we this is going to be your message. So I'm going to push this aside, okay, and we're going to flip it over. Here we go, here we go. So we have the four cups, the world, and then we'll go ahead and read these as we go. So this is pretty interesting. Okay. Please don't go. Hmm. And I get jealous. It looks like this person doesn't want you to go. Maybe you're walking away from this person. All right. Yeah, you could have ended it with them and they're not having it. Holy shit, this makes total sense. So we have the world card here for a cups. They're not very happy that you walked away from the connection. Maybe you ended it. All right. Um, and they're not very pleased about it. And because ever since you ended it, it's like they see your guys's love and connection in disney movies <laughs> it's like haunting them it's so funny and they're like oh my god you know everywhere i look everywhere i turn everything i watch it's my person they pop up in my mind she i feel like they're being tortured right now <laughs> because of you um that could be part of their karma here it says i kept my distance because i was scared and maybe that's why you ended it with them you kept your distance they were too afraid you got tired of them, you know, keeping you apart or not opening up to you. You weren't going to wait forever. So maybe this is this was an act of you like an emotional protest is what I like to call it uh, to push this person to open up, to come forward, to be more honest and authentic and have that heart to heart with you. Okay. So maybe you did this on purpose. Um, see, cause here it says, please don't go. I'm telling you, they're not having it. They don't want you to disconnect and they get jealous. They're a very jealous person. Maybe perhaps they see you having fun putting on, you know, Halloween is around the corner. Maybe you're trying on cute little costumes. They're really jealous. They're like, oh, there, she's going to end it with me, you know, right now. So she could, you know, dress cute for somebody. I don't know why I feel like they're, I'm picking up somebody's mentality here. <laughs> they're just really jelly. Um, and then these two cards here says, I'm afraid you will bring up the past and follow me down the rabbit hole. That's interesting. So this person is afraid that you are going to bring up something that they did, something that happened in the past. Maybe perhaps they won't open up because of that, or it could be a whole nother ball game. Okay. Everybody's different. So they're afraid that you might bring something up. Um, maybe they have apologized for it. Maybe they still need to apologize and they know they need to. And that is why they're a little upset and having a sissy lala fit because, you know, you pulled away and now they're like, fuck, now I have to do it because I don't want them to go. Um, and because they have jealousy issues. <laughs> and then follow me down the rabbit hole. To me, this is like um, Alice in Wonderland, the rabbits, like tick tock, tick tock, hurry up. Um, you don't have much time. So I feel like the little rabbit is telling the masculine, like, hurry up, you know, you don't have much time. Um, or you're, you're, you wasted too much time. But I feel like this is more like maybe you saying this to the masculine. Like, I just want you to follow me down the rabbit hole. You guys see all those orbs? Oh my God. Um, you just want to go deep in this connection. You don't want to half-ass bullshit. Okay. You want to go down the rabbit hole. You want to explore. You want to go deeper than the deepest sea, deeper than Atlantis, if you know what I mean. Okay, so maybe this act that you did of pulling away is going to actually help this person come forward. So if that resonates, it does. If it don't, it don't, period. All right, so let's put her aside. Thank you. 
All right, so if you picked the masculine, King Triton. <laughs> this is for you. I want you. I want to be inside you now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Interesting. So, wow, we have the three of swords here. The masculine is going through something. Then we have the page of pentacles, which means... They could either have a child with somebody, a kid or children, um, with a karmic or maybe with you. Um, something about like someone's using a child against this person and now they're, you know, they're sad about it. Um, it could be a karmic. If you're dealing with a masculine that has a karmic and they have a child with a karmic, that karmic is using the child against the masculine, trying to say, oh, you can't see the child because you're not with me. Selfish ass energy, right? Sometimes um, they can be very like, they don't want to co-parent because it's like, if you're not with me, you can't be with your child at all, which is like, you can't, you know what I mean? It's like, think about the child. Um, everybody's different though, but <clears throat> if this is your baby daddy, okay, they're upset because they're missing their child. They could have fucked up or whatever. They want their family back. They know they screwed things up, okay? Here it says, I love how our vibes collide when we are together, okay? So this person loves being with you, okay? So depending on what your situation is, this person does not want to go anywhere. This person doesn't want to lose you or their kid, okay? Here it says we have spirit babies in the 5D that want to be born. Okay, so let's say you and this masculine don't have kids together. They know that you guys have a baby, you know, coming, or you guys are meant to have a child, or maybe perhaps you just told them you're pregnant with somebody else and they're upset about it because it's like, wait, we're supposed to have a kid. Um, or it could be that perhaps they knocked up a karmic or an ex and now they're upset because they wanted to do that with you. That could be part of their karma. Um, it could be many, many things. Um, or it could be that maybe you're trying to have a child and you've lost one and they're really upset about it. But like I said, take what resonates for every, I try to say many possibilities. Um, here it says, I want you. Okay, so it's like they don't want whoever they're with. They want you. Okay, and then it says, I want to be inside you now. This part, see, this, this energy right here, this urgency, it's like, that's what's going to have this spirit baby be born. Okay, it's because maybe the time has come for you guys to start developing that baby, that special little baby. And it's like, they can feel it, right? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Or I can feel it coming in your ass tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But you know what I mean. Anyway, so the last two cards here, we have stagnant and stuck on an X. Okay. So for some, you could be the X that they're stuck on and they can't let go. And, you know, they want to get out of a karmic situation. For others, um, they want you, but they're still stuck on an X or an X is still stuck on them. Okay. And that's what's causing an issue here. And that's what's causing stagnant ass energy is that the X or a karmic is getting involved or in the freaking way of the connection. And that's something that y'all need to deal with, um, or figure some shit out. All right. So that's what's coming through. If it resonated, y'all already know if it don't, it don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.